Merhaba JT Skor kanalımız zaten kara. Hoş geldiniz. Hala bugün um, Cumhuriyet Bayramı. Um, o yüzden bu video um, tabii ki biliyoruz Mustafa Kemal Atatürk çok iyi bir iş yaptı yani çok iyi bir um, yani çok etiklen etiklendi etiklendi mi? Ya ya fakte etiklendi. Evet yani o yüzden um, Galipoli War savaşçı yeah. tepki veriyoruz mm-hmm. ee, evet bakalım bizden arkadaşlar lütfen abone ol bizim instagramda takip edebilirsiniz yep, yep. Ee, videoyu like atabilirsiniz evet evet ve bir dahaki sefer ee, ve videoya gidelim the father of the turks that's what ataturk means and it was the title is that is that exactly what it means though because some people and uh, said like it means his father is Like Atatürk means his dad is Turk. No, that's what some people say. It told me he's yeah, father, father of Atatürk. Yeah, Atatürk. It was not even like part of his name. Yeah. Like some people are saying, it's wrong to call him the father of all so, Turkish people. Uh, some people believe it's. Uh, some, some people believe. Yeah, some people believe he is. He actually is. Right. Yeah, a lot of people believe he is. Yeah, but some people. Some people. Some people is, yeah. Yeah, it's more of a controversy. Now, to honor him as the leader and driving force behind the creation of modern Turkey. His exploits in the First World War are legend, and it was his tactical skills that were the real secret in both his military and political career. So, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Yeah. My name is Indy Nidel. Welcome to another special episode of Who Did What in World War One. Mustafa was born in May 1881 in Saloniki, today's special. Actually, about this um, May 19th, like people are saying it's not accurate. It's not actually accurate. This is just the unofficial date. So what May 19th, like I was talking with my girlfriend and she told me mm-hmm. like no one actually knows his real date. Because yes, then that's why they never celebrate his birthday. Or uh, on May 19th. It's not this is just So what's what's I thought his birthday was um October no November 10th. What was the no, November? That was when he died. That was yeah. when he died. Oh, 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 sorry, so sorry. this is really not official. Okay. It's okay. okay. And what is now Greece, but what was then part of the Ottoman Empire. His actual birth date is unknown, but he chose May the 19th himself. Oh, His father was a timber dealer and a former customs lieutenant who died when Mustafa was seven years old, while his mother came from a long-established rural family. He grew up in fairly modest circumstances and had five siblings, but only one, a sister, survived childhood. Whoa. What, what happened to them? I think we... But they didn't teach us this in school. They didn't no, know. they did not. Uh, please, guys, they put out here like even the movie. I didn't see anything like this. Is there like is there the movie? Five, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely there will be. Oh, five it's... siblings. Four. That means four died. Three. three. They had five. Siblings. Okay, five siblings. Four so four died. Oh, damn. The death of the father, the family moved to the countryside to live with one of Mustafa's uncles, and Mustafa did not attend school regularly until he moved back to Saloniki at the age of nearly 10. He wasn't there for long though, dropping out at the age of 12. Yeah, But he- yeah I think they said that when they talk about, um, about the talk, like he wasn't the kind of person who believed in uh much in education, education yeah, i just yeah. wanted to be out there yeah. in the real But it was I think it was actually really good in mathematics. Yeah, 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 he's a yeah, master yeah, boy. No, some people I think that's why they gave school, him but they Kemal or something, I don't know The same name with his teacher Yeah, Kemal, right? Is it Mustafa? I'm not sure which one exactly yeah, I think it's Kemal, Kemal. Kemal. has to be Kemal Eventually yeah. applied to a middle school, was accepted and graduated in 1895 as one of the top students This is apparently where he was given his surname, Kemal, Kemal. from his math teacher It was in praise of his skills Kemal means perfect in perfect. Arabic. Yeah, After graduation, right. he attended cadet school in Manasfir, now in Macedonia. In 1899, he moved to so, Constantinople. Sorry, sorry. Well, so what was like his real like full name then? No, Mustafa. Uh, I don't know. Because Kemal was given to him, Ataturk was given mm. to him. That's a tough question. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're not taught. We're not taught. Maybe we were. And we didn't I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Solution. You guys can please tell us in the comments. It's real. It's real. Yeah. It's real. yeah. In Istanbul and became an officer at the moved to Constantinople, the capital of the empire. Now in Istanbul and became an officer at the military academy. He remained there until 1902. But what? Istanbul and became an officer. Yeah. 
That's the oh, that did in, in Istanbul. Istanbul. Yeah. Oh. Academy. Damn. It remained there until 1902, but was Four arrested years. shortly after leaving by government intelligence and spent several months in prison for opposition to the government. See, Mustafa oh. had joined the opposition party while. Sorry, sorry. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> to be honest, I don't. Know. Where is he? But wait, where is it though? Like, um, literally, like people like Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Nelson Mandela, as you, like you just said now, like when they are trying to fight for like what's right, um, what's right they always like get to the prison first. Government. Like in prison, you understand? That's yeah. the job of the government, man. Yeah, to just yeah, oppress people. Oppress. The academy, which supported Western style reform movements and wanted greater self determination and autonomy in this the empire the rather than the absolute power the Sultan. The Academy's director intervened and got Mustafa released and soon enough hmm. he was a captain employed by the War Office. In Damascus he founded a secret organization called Fatherland and Freedom and shortly after Vatan ve Özgürlük Yeah I um, wasn't taught this man Yeah we himself became a member of the Committee for Union and Progress. Why does this look like Pakistan in club? I was going to say himself, that became a member of the Committee for Union and Progress, otherwise known as the Young Turks, a large opposition organization. In ah, yeah, yeah. As an army chief of staff. You knew about this thing? Yeah. I was into <coughs> Maybe he doesn't get Young Turks. Yeah, he was like, I think it was like a revolutionary group or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. Like uh, he supported the Young Turks Revolution, which deposed the Sultan and restored a constitutional government. In 1910. What? Wait, they fought for the like, They fought for it, like they sent the Sultan away. Yeah, I guess. So it's just like some like a group, a group of people, people guys, young yeah, guys. Yeah, like trying to you understand. Ambitious. Yeah, uh, ambitious. Wow. That's the visited Western Europe for the first time. His famous quote, there are different cultures, but only one civilization. The European one comes mm. from that visit. In 1911 and 12, he fought as a major in the Italian-Turkish War. Now, this war showed the cracks in the foundations of the empire. And in 1912, mm. Greece, Serbia, mm. Montenegro, and Bulgaria formed an alliance to exploit those cracks and attack the empire in October. This was the first. It's Armenia, Greece, wow. and Serbia, and um, Montenegro. Montenegro, Montenegro, and. Uh, Hungary, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yeah, there's Bulgaria. Sure. The war. And Mustafa fought in Gallipoli and Bolayu. After the war, he worked as a military attache, and in 1914, he became lieutenant colonel in the Ottoman embassy in Sofia. So when the First World War broke out, Mustafa Kemal lived in Bulgaria. The Ottoman what? So when the First World War broke out, Mustafa Kemal lived in Bulgaria. Wow. Really? I like when historians like this tell you like some things <laughs> yeah, you yeah, don't know. The Ottoman Empire fought with the German Empire during World War One, and in January 1915, yeah. the 19th Division of the 5th Turkish Army was assigned to Mustafa Kemal. He transferred to Gallipoli, and his fantastic exploits against the Allies while defending at Gallipoli brought him worldwide fame and attention, as well as military glory. His forces beat back the... brought him... Uh, this is Istanbul Castle. One of one of these places. This one, right? Mm. Uh, so like one of these places is mm. going to be Istanbul. Mm. Wait, I think Istanbul is like maybe here because you know see, um, you know like Istanbul is like between. It's like half of. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, the yeah. City half of Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, that's between, the lake. And see. this is Gallipoli. Worldwide fame and attention, as well as military glory. His forces beat back the British and French forces time and again. And as the Gallipoli campaign ended in defeat for the Allies, Mustafa Kemal was praised throughout the empire, even with the hundreds of thousands of Ottoman lives lost. At oh, so they lost. But they still, like, they lost I the battle. So I didn't get to. You said they lost the battle. The Gallipoli campaign ended in defeat from the Allies. the Allies. Mustafa Kemal was praised throughout the empire, even with the hundreds of thousands. I think of it's because they were not completely annihilated. Like the force, imagine just a unit. 
holding back the the British forces and the mm -hmm. French forces. That's I think that's why they pushed them. So oh, much. oh, you know there was a part in the last video with the they said yeah. like the Greek were like um, pushing on pushing the, in and they pushed them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they pushed them back. So and lives lost after the no, that that's it, different from this though. Yeah, that one is in mm -hmm. Ankara. Ankara. We're trying, no, to, no, advance we're trying to advance Ankara. Ankara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. 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 Stationed in Edirne and the promoted to Major General in April 1916, he fought to recapture Mush and Bitlis from the Russians. And after ah. <laughs> he fought the Russians again. <laughs> Damn. Damascus and Aleppo, he returned to Constantinople. In early 1918, he visited the Ottoman Crown Prince Vahideddin, later Sultan Mehmet VI, also meeting German Kaiser Wilhelm II, German Quartermaster General Erich Ludendorff, and mm. Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg, as they planned spring offensives, and that's pretty impressive company. In June 1918, Mehmet became Sultan of the Empire. The last one, as it turned out. Mm. Mustafa was made commander of the 7th Army with the task of defending Syria against the British advance. Wow. Now, this Syria. would prove to be an impossible task. Syria. The, the country, Syria. Yeah. Country. Yeah. How? They went to defend another the country, country, even though. Syria. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Mustafa Kemal could only organize a coordinated retreat until the Treaty of Mudros on October 31st ended the campaign. After the war, Mustafa returned to Constantinople. The empire collapsed after the war, and the peace treaty of Sevres in 1920 actually partitioned the empire among the victors and the indigenous peoples. The treaty was never ratified, though, because the Turkish War of Independence brought everyone back to the negotiating table. Mustafa mm -hmm. Kemal was both the political and so military... The Turkish War of Independence is the one that happened in 1923. Yeah, yeah. During that war, defending his country against foreign incursion and right. cementing his position as the man in charge, even when turmoil in the country resulted in massacres of both Armenians and Greeks. Okay, this is way too wait wait wait. Look, massacre. I don't understand. Massacre from which? Massacre. From which side? And cementing his position as the man in charge, even when turmoil in the country resulted in massacres of both Armenians and Greeks. Okay, this is way too brief to do justice to either the story of the war or the civilian tragedies. But to cut it even shorter, after four years of war, the modern Republic of Turkey was founded, with Mustafa Kemal as its first president, a post he would hold for 15 years. We really didn't get about the massacre. So, you guys can so, so with the Turkish War of Independence started in 1918, then. And okay, ended in 1923. 23. 2022. Oh, so, so, four, four years. years. It could be like 23, maybe. Maybe, maybe like, like any 23. Honored with the surname Ataturk in 1934. He oh. was and is a symbolic figure of Turkish national consciousness. I lived in Istanbul for a bit back in the mid-1990s, and even then, every house, shop, or restaurant had a photograph of added. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> every school. Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? Yeah, every yeah. Every school. Prominently displayed, to a degree that I personally have never seen of any other figure in any other country. Now, it's not really my job to talk about his career as president, since, much like the War for Independence, this is well outside the scope of this show. Mm -hmm. But I encourage you all to read more about one of the 20th century's legendary figures. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk died of cirrhosis of the liver, November 10th, 1938. Smoking, the what? Cirrhosis of the liver. Mm. Was initially <coughs> laid to rest in the Ethnography Museum in Ankara, the new capital of But in 1953, was moved to a huge mausoleum that overlooks that city. Now here's a bizarre but cool piece of trivia. One of Ataturk's adopted daughters uh, was so the world's first change. female fighter pilot. Seriously. Gukchen. So there you have it. A man who in many ways was You, you know Sabian Gukchen Airport? Wait, 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 so what keeps saying? In, in, in Istanbul. Sabia Kuchkin, good chain. Is, is, is it like an international airport? Or yeah, it's, it's an international airport to Sabia Kuchkin. Yeah, how many international airports are in Istanbul? Because there is a new one, like two. You just made one. 
there's there's the most there's the sorry the Istanbul Atatürk Airport and yeah. then there's I think the Sabia Gökçen Airport. Yeah. I'm not, but I'm not sure if, if if they're the same thing over there. No, no, they're Sabia Gökçen. They're Sabia Gökçen. Yeah. Uh, Mustafa I, I Kemal Ataturk, the father of all Turks and the driving force behind the creation of modern Turkey. If you want to see how the whole Gallipoli mess really got going, check out this episode about the first landings and how Mustafa Kemal was involved in the defense. Wow. And let us know if there's another important figure from the war that you'd like to learn more about. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. That all right, was, all right. That was that was, that was a pretty nice illustration. Yeah, and narration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, evet, işte bu. Arkadaşlar, um, as we can see, of course, mm -hmm. daha çok şeyler var. Yani Atatürk'ün aklında yani öğreneceğiz şeyler var. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can know everything about. Tabii ki olmaz. <laughs> hey, she you okay, Sak? Even his birthday, we cannot know. Yeah. Even if we know every other thing, we can't even know his birthday. birthday because he already chose the time. Ah, he chose the date himself, so that's what everybody's going to go with. Evet, um, arkadaşlar, lütfen abone ol, video paylaş, Instagram'da takip edebilirsiniz ve bir dahaki sefere görene kadar bye.